Hello, in this video I'll explain the physics of the flying chair. The flying chair is really similar to a conical pendulum. We have the downward weight and we have the tension in the string. Vertically, there's no net force, so the upward T cosine theta is equal to the downward weight. Horizontally, of course, we know that uh, T sine theta provides the required centripetal force. So T sine theta is mv squared over r. So everything looks identical to the conical pendulum except that the radius of the circular motion uh, is this length here. Alright, it's not this length. So the r here is actually this distance from here all the way to here. So equation 2 divided by equation 1, we get yet again this expression tangent theta is v squared over rg. And we can actually now appreciate why uh, when the flying chairs go faster and faster, they will actually rise up. Let's start with the flying chairs doing the circular motion at a particular speed, at a particular angle theta. Let's now increase the speed of the flying chairs. If nothing changes, then the centripetal force provided by the Horizontal components of the tension force is now insufficient to keep the chairs going in circular motion at this radius because V squared over R has just become larger. So the chairs will want to drift outward, which makes this rope pulls harder. So the tension force will increase. But if the tension force increases, that means vertically we do not have net force being equal to zero anymore because the vertical components of tension is going to be larger than the weight of the chair which means the chair will accelerate upward so what actually happens is that the tension force will increase and the angle theta will also increase until all these equations are fulfilled again that's why the flying chair swing higher and higher as they go faster and faster get it? okay, ta-ta!